Amen. All hearts and minds ready to worship. Amen. Amen. Philippians chapter 3. Amen. Amen. Well, I'd take my coat off over here. Amen. <laughs> I'd be borrowing one if I was over there. Amen. I should have put Randy's cushion back under here. <laughs> Amen. We're here to worship today. Amen. And uh, I want to, uh, let me say before we get started, I've got a little thank you here for my wife and I. Uh, it says thank you for all you've uh, done for us. Keep praying. Um, loving Christ, Lord and Gene Jones. And uh, we do need you to pray. It's been, it's been a rougher road than I ever thought. And, uh, and let me tell you something. The devil will always try to disturb anything That's right. that you're trying to do for Christ. Now, you, know, you need, all need to ask Brother Greg about this website that, uh, uh, and that's working. If you haven't saw it, been on it. How many saw it? Amen. Amen. It's good. Y'all have to find out where it's at and get on it. Amen. And uh, what a joy. And we're getting a lot of hits. We took some grief over some songs we put on it, but uh, we're going to remedy that. Amen. Also, YouTube. Huh? It's on YouTube. Okay, YouTube. It's reaching around the world, actually. I want y'all to understand some things that's going on this week. Both uh, last Sunday and uh, over here, the heat was out. Now it's how to get over there. Amen. And uh, it's been worked on. And the heat was out at my house. Twice. And then the well froze. It's been a wonderful week. Pray for spring. Man. Oh, Peter comes so 40 degree weather. Amen. Amen. And it's supposed to be coming. But God's good. Amen. All the time. And uh, uh, I know, I know when I undertook this back surgery, I had no idea, I'll be honest with you. Uh, and uh, I want to thank you. Um, I, you don't realize, I mean, uh, how God has blessed and used you and, and uh, just even put groceries on our table. I, I want to thank you. And amen. I appreciate you, you know. And, uh, and amen. Amen. My kids appreciate it too. Amen. Amen. Uh, you be much in prayer for us, and it may take a while, but I think we're coming out of the up, uh, up out of the valley. Amen. Amen. And we're going to go on, and uh, I want uh, I want us to look at this verse here today, uh, verse thirteen. And uh, let us back up and start with verse ten. Amen, brother. Amen. Back up and start with verse ten. That I may know him. I don't know about you. I mean, I appreciate our church. Mm -hmm. I pre you know, if you'll just sit down sometimes and calculate what God has done here, not just the 40 years I've been here, but the seven or eight years I had before that. And uh, it's still going. Folks are still being dealt with. The gospel is still being preached. Uh, we may not be on the hip parade, but hip, hip, I'm on his parade. Amen. 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 And uh, I get on the edge of the chair. Amen. That I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings. We're all, and he's beginning to show me we're all going to have some kind. Uh, Tim's going through some stuff right now. Let me let me say again. Thank you for all the men, Tim and Randy. Randy brought, uh, we had to have a load of dirt, and, I, and they, uh, God blessed them. With, I appreciate that. See, uh, not all of us could have done that. Amen. Amen. And it done me good to see Randy out there shoveling dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Amen, brother. <laughs> but you know what? He was willing to use his clean truck to haul a load of dirty dirt. Amen. <laughs> To try to help keep me, me uh, from having froze water. Amen. Amen. And I appreciate it. I appreciate uh, Tim and uh, Joshua and, and the work they've done. They got up, and uh, Joshua Lee, they got up there and uh, the ground was froze and they started digging it out when it froze so somebody could get in there and fix it. I mean, we had two big leaks and, and God blessed. I mean, these things come for a reason and a purpose. Brother Greg, you and I were talking about this a while back. 
Let me read this again, that I may know him. Why are we here this morning? To worship him. To know him. No. <laughs> I don't care, you, you know, 40 years is a landmark, I know. I used to admire my pastor, and he got to 39 years, and he didn't make it 40 where he was at. And I, I won't tell you, I, we, I appreciate y'all. Amen. <coughs> and uh, you keep praying that I get better, uh, better, er, amen. And you keep praying for Lynn, and she gets those treatments that's helping her. Amen. Amen. And uh, you pray for Terry. He's putting up Laura. Amen. Amen. <laughs> that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being made conformable unto his death. Everything we're going through, Brother Randy, is making us conformable unto his death. Well, but Sister Aldrey really... You just you don't even know what Sister Audrey's been through. Right. And you know what? A lot of times we don't know what each other is going through. But I sure am glad I know one who does Amen. know what I'm going right. through. <laughs> Woo! I think we're really shallow. Amen. Amen. Verse 11, if, if, if by any means, does that mean if by any means, whatever it takes, I might Attain unto the resurrection of the dead. Not as though I had already attained, neither were already per perfect, but I follow after. We're following after many who's gone ahead of us, and there's some coming behind us, and we need to be setting the example to bring glory and go to God. That's what it's all about. Amen. It's not about me. Amen. And it's not about him promoting me. It's about promoting Jesus Amen. to the glory of God. Amen. 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 And uh, not as though I had already obtained it. Either we're already perfect. But I follow after that if that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of Jesus Christ. Is, he, is Jesus caught up for you? Do you know if you died today, heaven be your home? I'm, I, I mean, I've gone through, through some valleys that I literally thought I was wrestling with the devil. Mm -hmm. Whether I were or whether I wasn't, amen. But uh, we've already got off... Uh, some medications and things that I was on that was causing problems. And uh, and I praise the Lord for that. Amen. But this one verse I want you to get right here. Brethren, we're in this that that there's a relationship there that can Amen. only be attained through the blood of the yes. Lord Jesus Christ. Correct. Brethren, we met today to worship. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. That's what we're going, that's going to be our verse for 2018. We don't, we're not supposed to stay in the past, are we? Right. Nope. We don't know what today really holds, We and tomorrow we look forward to because we know who holds tomorrow too. That's right. But we can't live in the past. I think the past is there in our memories to remind us of what we could have done or should have done. And to help us possibly not make the same mistakes again. Have you made a few? Ain't none of your business, amen. I ain't gonna tell you. Watch on the butt. But uh, we're, 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 we're in this together. <coughs> Now, am I your pastor? Amen. Am I your pastor? Amen. I might get down the ditch, but throw me the chain. Amen. Put the four wheelers up. Amen. Uh, we'll get out and come on up that hill. And when all this time, whether we're going up the hill or we're going down in the ditch or we're on the road, we're going to praise Him. We're going to give Him glory and honor. And we're going to, to whom He well deserves. Amen. It ain't time to quit. It's time to get. Try. Plenty, there's plenty of people that need to be saved. There's plenty of people that need Christ. Amen. Plenty. And the it's our job. Now we can we can um, mule over what 
uh, muse over what uh, uh, other people have done. <coughs> or we can do what Christ did, forgetting those things which are behind. Take note of them. I mean, you know, I see a rattlesnake, but I ain't got a stick. I ain't going to try to kill him with my foot, I'll tell you that much. Amen. But I'll find a gun somewhere. <laughs> uh, well, that's one God animal. He shouldn't crawl across my path then. Amen. Nope. Amen. I believe what the other fellow said, but uh, <laughs> break out little red specks all over. Amen. <laughs> but where, where the, uh, and and I'm, you know, I'm a long way from fully recovering. And I'm, I'm coming up out of the, out of the bottom. That's right. And we've got people here that's, uh, want, that really are, want to help, want to be a blessing. And I appreciate all that they've done. All, although the, all that uh, they've picked up, and we're going on. And, and the best is yet to come. God's not done. That's right. And he won't be done until Christ comes back. <coughs> and that could be any day now. So we're reminded the last verse, uh, uh, he said, I press toward the mark. For the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Now we're in something. Now I, I don't belong to a whole lot. I belong to my wife. <coughs> 49 years. Sometimes she wonders about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, belong, I belong to Grace Baptist Church. I'm proud of that. Amen. I'm not ashamed to be a member of this church. Yeah. I'm proud. That's right. Amen. I'm proud to have folks like Mary and her sister and others. And that, are, that are part of this church. I'm proud of the, our choir. I'm proud uh, as we grow and go, and we will. <coughs> we're not going to stand still because we're going to raise the uh, standard of prayer. We're going to keep pleading the blood of Christ, yeah. and we're going to press toward that mark. Get your eyes off others that have failed. Put your own eyes on the one who hadn't failed. Amen. That's right. You might let him down, Brother Terry. That's I right. may fail. That's right. He never failed us. That's right. And by the way, there's nobody here that's better than somebody else. That's right. Education is a wonderful thing. I told my professor one time, I said, I'm going to get all I can, but I'm going to try not to let it show. <laughs> Amen. Remember where God found you. Don't ever forget Amen. it. Remember, he didn't have to save you, but he did. If you're here and unsaved today, he said, will he save me? Sure he will. If you believe that you're a sinner and you can ask Christ to forgive you of your sin, you believe he can, you ask him, he will, and you'd be surprised how business pick up in heaven over that. There's nobody so far down that Christ can't reach them. That's right. There's nobody so sorry and lost. I mean, all of us at one time were unsaved. But you know what? I'm pressing toward the mark today. And I'm, I'm, I've got my eyes on him. Do you see that those nail-scarred hands and that, that back that was bludgeoned for you and I and that side that was pierced with that spear uh, that even went into his heart and blood and water came out and, and those feet that was nailed to that cross. Can you see Nicodemus and Joseph of Arimathea gingerly taking that body down? He did all that for us. He did all that to pay a debt that I owed that he didn't. Amen. That you owed that he didn't. And he, he gives this to Paul as he writes to the church of Philippi. Verse 15 says, Let us therefore as many as be perfect be thus minded. And if anything you be otherwise minded, God shall reveal even this unto you. Nevertheless, Whereunto we have already attained, let us walk by the same rule. Let us mind the same thing. Brethren, be followers together of me and mark them which walk so as ye have us for an example. For many walk of whom I have told you often and now tell you even weeping that they are enemies of the cross of Christ. Whose end is destruction, whose God is their belly, whose glory is their shame. Who mind earthly things. For our conversation, our brethren must say, our conversation is in heaven. Amen. From, uh, from whence also we look for who? The Savior. the Savior. The Lord Jesus Christ, who shall change our vile body 
that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body according to the working thereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. Pretty good start for 2018. <coughs> Amen. Amen. And uh, I think that uh, we've got a lot to be thankful for even this morning. Amen. Let me see. Anybody got anything to be thankful for this morning for 2018? Yes, Everything. Yes, sir. Everything. Yes, sir. Right. I'm thankful for my family for leading me to God, and I'm thankful I'm just out of place to my head. Yes, ma'am. Mary? I'm grateful for I still have a place to live. Amen. My family, my mother, my brothers, my sisters, and my nieces and my nephews. Amen. Anybody else? I'm yes, thankful sir. that he saved me. Amen, Mother Jerry. Thankful that I got this church and my church family. Amen. 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 I'm thankful for the Lord's mercy and grace every day. Amen. 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 Anybody else? Yes, ma'am. I'm thankful for the Lord saving me and for Grace Baptist Church and for everybody's church family. Amen. Um, I'm thankful for my, my family and Amen. for uh, us being here and for Greg being here. Uh, Yes. The doctor yes. said he wasn't going to be here, but I'm thankful God knows. Uh, That's right. Amen. And he's in control, and the doctors aren't. That's right. Amen. And I'm thankful for uh, the Bible that I, I'm able to read it. Amen. Uh, countries that don't have the word, and I'm right. grateful that I have it. Amen. 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 Anybody else? I'm thankful for my family and my church family. And for his grace and mercy and for saving me. Amen. And, and like she said, for his words to yes. give us their path. Amen. Amen. Anybody else? I'm thankful that the Lord saved me and I'm thankful that I have his word. Amen. 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 Is there? I'm thankful for uh, being able to read God's word. Yes. Um, and to be asking. You can ask for the knowledge and the yes, wisdom. Yes, that's right. Amen. And I forget to do that sometimes. Amen. But I'm thankful so much for it. Amen. Amen. Anyone else? I'm thankful for saving me. Amen, son. Thank you for our pastor, my dad. Amen. And Amen. for the people of the church. Y'all are my family. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Okay. I'm going to thank him. I was reading in. He was willing to drink that cup for me. That's right. That's right. I got to thinking how much of he become that curse. Yes. <laughs> he become a curse. That's right. Or maybe who was cursed? That's right. I was reading in Galatians 3.13 and I was just thinking he that knew no sin become sin for me. Become right. sin, took my sin. I want to thank you for that. Amen. Amen. Thank you. That's good. Try. Amen. It's good. Amen. Anyone else? One thing. I'm grateful that he saved me, and I'm grateful that he has given me the strength to bring us into 2018. Amen. 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 And what else? Well, I got, I got mine written down. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. I stayed on my knees 24 hours a day. It could never be enough for the dead Jesus face. In my heart, I could see him as he hung on the tree. Knowing his precious blood was being shed for me. So I thank you, son. I thank you, Father, for your undying love, for sending us Jesus from heaven above. <laughs> thank you, Father, for Calvary. As the nails pierced his hands and the spear pierced his side, how our Father in heaven must have suffered inside. No greater love nor mercy could be shown by anyone as he lifted up his eyes 
and he cried, it is done. I thought this year we might, we got to be, we got to pray more. Amen. We got to do it together somehow. But I, I want to challenge each of you to have a quiet time. You can keep Christ at the center of your life by spending quiet time with him. This quiet time is a appointment you keep with Jesus every day. Daily. Whenever it is, uh, 15 minutes. Here, uh, here's just some suggestions he gives. Um, we're developing a consistent quiet time. Priority. Make this a priority in your day. If you don't make Jesus a priority, he won't be. That's my brother. Select a time and schedule around 15 minutes a day. You can have a whole lot more than that, but at least give him that. And uh, preparation. Find a place where you can be alone and have your materials together, Bible and journal and devotional and prayer list, pen, pencil. Develop a plan that includes prayer, Bible, study, and uh, writing down your thoughts. And the thought I've got here is let us draw near with a true heart and full assurance of faith. Hebrews 10, 22. There's a lot to be done. You are important to Christ. You, every, every, every molecule of you is important to Christ because he died for you. We got a lot to do. And we're gonna we're gonna take verse thirteen, uh, and I say it, and I hope you will too, brethren. I cannot I count not myself to apprehend it, but this one thing I do: forgetting those things which are behind, and reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press toward the mark of the high calling of God. Amen. Press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God. Don't want me to say that. There's a prize laid up for us. He's going to reward Amen, your faithfulness. Wouldn't it be awful to stand there and not, not, not get a reward? Wouldn't that be awful? Yeah. It wasn't the fact you couldn't have. It's the fact that you did. Let's make this a year that we're faithful to him. Sunday morning, Sunday night, and Wednesday night. Amen. He deserves it, doesn't he? Yes, I did. Amen. Let's do that. Press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Jesus Christ. So Terry, would you pray for us? Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this new year. Father, we thank you for our pastor and the words that he spoke to us this morning. Father, we do need to grow closer. Father, we need each other. Father, give us that within ourselves, Father, that we can love you, lean on you, lean on one another. Father, we thank you for all that you've done in the past. You've brought us all through some miraculous things. Yes. My health, my health issues alone. I saw my wife paralyzed, God, and you healed her. Yes. I see my pastor down and you brought him back. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Lord, this is just the beginning of this year. Oh, and Father, God. I know if we do our part, you'll do yours. Yes. And Father, I pray that you just continue to bless Grace Baptist Church. Be with each one of those that's here this morning. And Father, be with those that's not. Whatever that is, hinder them, Father. Help move that stone and block out of the way, Father. Yes. That what our church house may be full. Yes. And Father, help us to be that outreach that we can go in our communities. Yes. Amen. And go out there and go in our families and, yes. and be a witness and a testimony, yes. Father, that will lead them toward you. Yes. And Father, we give you all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor in your Son's precious <coughs> name. Amen. Amen. Amen.